What's up preppers? Community Prepper here. Today you are watching the one, the only, the most comprehensive video that you will find on YouTube pertaining to the Mr. Heater portable propane heating systems. Now these guys are great because you can use them indoors in the event of a power outage. It might save your life. But today we're gonna go over the safety, the different models, four main models we're gonna go over, the unboxing, the setup, the operation, accessories you can purchase, pricing of each of the four units, the main four units, off-label hacks, and we're gonna talk about what unit might be best for you. Also, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll let you know why I went with the two models that I purchased. Before we get into the nitty grit of the video, I'm gonna ask you guys to do me a solid. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you wanna be notified of when I put up a new video, hit the notification bell. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about today is safety as it pertains to the Mr. Heater units. I know it's a little bit boring, but it is important, and we'll go through it really quick and get it out of the way first. First, all the models I'm talking about today are able to be used indoors. Propane is a very efficient energy source and some of the cleanest burning fuel. Second, each of the models is equipped with an oxygen sensor. If the sensor detects a dip in the atmospheric oxygen, it will turn the unit off. Third, each unit is also equipped with a mechanism where if it does detect a tip, it will shut the heater off immediately. Couple of quick common sense things too. Guys, these things run hot. Don't put them close to curtains, clothing, furniture, anything like that that can catch fire. Furthermore, do not put your propane source close to the heater. You don't wanna blow yourself up. Finally, yeah, these are designed to run indoors, but we're preppers, we go that extra step. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get a $20 carbon monoxide detector. Now, carbon monoxide is a gas that has no uh, smell, you can't see it, and when you do put your carbon monoxide detector in your house or wherever you're gonna be running these heaters, make sure it's lower to the ground. Unlike fire detectors or smoke alarms, they, uh, they are up high because smoke rises. Carbon monoxide, on the other hand, will sink down low. So go get a $20 carbon monoxide detector. Uh, it could save your life. Okay, when you hook up your heater, and if you have a propane leak, you're gonna know it. It's going to smell. Propane by itself doesn't have a smell. The manufacturers have put in a artificial scent. It smells like rotten eggs or methane so that you can detect if you have a smell with your nose. Now, if you do have a leak, you're gonna to wanna to air out the room, well, disconnect everything first, air out the room before you try reapplying the hoses or the propane canister to your Mr. Heater. Once you have it all hooked up, if you don't smell the propane, there is a good way to test it to see if your seals are tight. We'll go over that later, but it's just a simple trick with Windex. Kind of like when you're looking for a flat tire, if you get a, a hole in your tire and you can't diagnose where it is, you spray soapy water on it and it'll bubble. Same thing with uh, Windex on your hoses. All right, preppers, here's everything we're gonna go over today. Starting with this guy right here, which is called the Little Buddy. And this guy is awesome. I've taken him camping and it got down to about 30, 28, 30 degrees in the tent and ran this guy on just the one cylinder of propane right here um, and it got the tent very toasty. So let's kind of pick this guy apart real quick and clear off the table. Okay, we're gonna talk about the little, bu little buddy first. This is the little buddy. It comes in the box like this with a base. Now, uh, it recommends on Mr. Heater's website, this thing sells for $110. It's a lot cheaper than that. I think this one in the store, I saw it for about $50. So what I'm giving you the prices of today is the recommended price on the Mr. Heater site, but you can always find a better deal at Lowe's or Walmart, wherever you're gonna buy these things. So first we're gonna talk about the uh, features, well, the parts. You got your on switch, you got your off switch. You have your front grate, which protects the heat, it's a ceramic tile in there, and there's a pilot light down below. 
Now, this thing is super easy to use. You take your one pound propane tank. Also, this is the only model we're gonna discuss today that does not allow you to hook into a 20 pound propane tank with the extension hose. This can only go uh, onto these cylinders. And then the base, it just sits in there. Now, I'll turn it and I will show you how to turn this on. So to prime the pilot, you just have to hold down the on key, on button, and the pilot immediately shot on. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I cannot tilt it for you because it'll turn off. After you hold it for about 30 seconds, you're supposed to just release the on switch and the heater will come to life. So give it a few minutes. Now this thing is a 3800 BTU heater. It only has one setting. What the hell is a BTU? I'm gonna tell you what a BTU is. British Thermal Unit. It's just a measure of, oh yeah. It's just a measure, a uh, standard measure of how much energy is needed to heat one pound of water one degree, whatever that means. Basically, the higher the BTUs, the warmer this thing is gonna be. That's putting out a lot of heat right now. Now, in our case, the higher the BTUs, the better. Is there such thing as too many BTUs? Perhaps. You have to consider your um, amount of fuel that you have. You don't wanna overkill a area that you're trying to stay warm in with a giant heater. So you have to think about the size and space that you're heating. And you're also gonna think about the size of the unit you need to take to that space. Is it portable? Are you walking? Are you camping? Are you hiking? Do you need to carry this in uh, anywhere? So one tank on this guy at the one maximum setting of 3,800 BTUs will run for 5.6 hours. That's super energy efficient. When you wanna turn this guy off, you just press the off button. It went off. You can disconnect it from the base, unscrew your propane tank, and I would let this cool before you reboxed it because this end grate does get very hot. So we'll place this on the table. So little buddy heater is perfect for small places, easily portable, very energy efficient and very cheap to run. These uh, tanks, I've seen them as low as $4. They're getting up there though. I've seen them as expensive as $9 a piece. So stock up on these when you see them at that $5 price point. All right, let's unbox this one brand new. It is called the Big Buddy. And I'll do a little walk around with you and I'll show you the features, the hookups, the differences between what this offers over the Little Buddy. So let's get to it. All right, there you have it. Let's go over the uh, features or the parts of it first. So you got your front outside grill that protects the ceramic heaters. Those suckers get hot. Over here, you have your switches for to light your pilot, to turn it on, and then you have a low, medium, and high setting. On the side here, now this is what's cool about this unit, is that it does have dual propane hookups for two of the one pound propane tanks. And these attach there, these things swivel out so that you could just screw it in and then push it back in and close the doors. And then like all models, you need to put it on the pilot and you just need to hold it to get the gas through the system. Now, retail on this, suggested retail, $246. I got it for $139, I believe at Walmart. And I don't think it was on any special sale or anything like that. Also, this has three different settings. You have a low, a medium and a high setting that you just move the dial to there. The low setting, 4,000 BTUs. The middle setting is 9,000 BTUs. And the high setting is a whopping 1,800 BTUs. This thing is rated to heat a area that is up to 450 square feet. That's huge. That's um, this room I'm standing in, my kitchen over there, my hallway, and probably back into the uh, hallway that goes down to the bedroom. So this thing is a monster and it puts out a lot of heat. Now on the two propane systems, uh, you stick them in both sides, you turn it on, on two propane tanks at the low setting for 10.8 hours. 
At the medium setting, 9,000 BTUs, it'll work for 4.8 hours. And on the highest, 1,800 BTUs, 2.4 hours. But to make it even more efficient, you wanna hook it into a 20 pound tank. And that's where this guy comes in. This is the hose. This hose, the brand, Mr. Heater, the hose. If you do get a hose, go with the brand. Two reasons. There is no oils in the hose that are gonna leak into your system and gunk it up. There's also no what's called plasticizers in the Mr. Buddy, Mr. Heater brand hose. Plasticizers are basically a product that they put into hosing or other materials to make it more flexible. So if you use the Mr. Heater, you don't need to get a filter. If you don't use a Mr. Heater hose, you're gonna need some kind of uh, filter unit that Mr. Heater does sell that will um, filter the propane before it goes into your Mr. Heater unit. So let's set this up uh, first with the one propane tank, and then we'll hook it into the 20 gallon tank and we'll show you the trick to make sure you have a good connection. So, if you could see, it's really easy to do. Okay, give it a nice hand tight. You don't want to over tighten it, push it in. You can close that. I don't smell anything. I know I have a good seal. Okay, one thing worth mentioning is it does not matter what side you have a propane, propane cylinder in. You can put it in this side to start it or you can put it in that side to start it. It doesn't matter. Now, batteries, why do I have batteries? This unit is equipped with a fan. Now the fan uh, will blow the heat out into the room, but we do have to put four D cell batteries in. So let's do that real quick. Okay, D cell batteries go in the back right here. And I'll tilt it forward just to get a better look in there. Okay, looks like that goes like this, like that. Like that, close the door up. All right, we'll turn it around. There is a switch right here for the fan. Let's see if that kicks on. Yeah, you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but. Okay, now we have the propane cylinder in the side. Now what we have to do is prime it to get gas in here to light the pilot. It is in the off position. You wanna put it in the pilot position. You push it down and over. You hold it down 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you put it back to the off position, push down, click it. There's your pilot lit down there. Then you can just release it and then turn it to, oh, the pilot went off. Okay, pilot's back on. Gonna let it get its juices flowing a bit. Then I'm gonna release this, turn it to the low setting. Now, on the low and medium setting, only this side of the ceramic plates will get hot, or I'm sorry, uh, burn. The, woo, the third unit, that's hot. The third unit, or the second unit ceramic plate is for the highest setting. Now, if I turn the fan on, you can hear the fan kick on, and it does blow the heat out towards the camera. So I have it on low, we'll put it on medium. Can't really tell, but, and now we'll put it on high, and let's see that other burner kick on. Wait one sec. Okay, that gives you a better idea. You can see the pilot light down below. You can see the one ceramic heater on the medium setting. Now let's go full blast, 18,000 BTUs. Kicks on. First time I'm ever starting this up, so super easy to use. All right, let's go on to a few more things. Turn the lights back on. Okay, lights are back on. I'm gonna power this down. It has been on for about a minute and a half and it is already hot in here. So I'm gonna turn it all the way to off. And I am gonna turn the fan off too. If you leave the fan on, you'll kill your battery. Fans off, units off, pilot lights off. So. Now we're gonna connect it to a 20 pound propane tank and I'll show you how. And we're gonna use the Mr. Heater brand hose. I got a five foot one. They come in five foot, 10 foot and 12 foot. Now, it is up to you if you wanna bring your propane 
tank inside. Recommended not to, but how the heck else are you gonna power this if it's inside? They don't make a 40 foot hose to go from outside to here. So again, you'll be able to smell propane if you do get a leak. And I've had this next to us the entire time. It has not gone off. Look, it works. I'll test it. And it's gonna go off a few more times now. So I'll put it here, let it go. Beep, beep, beep. One more time, maybe. Maybe not. All right. Let's disconnect the propane. Actually, I'll leave this propane tank in. No, I won't. I'll take it out. Place that away from your heat source. And now let's unpack the hose and hook it up to your propane tank. Oh, I got the 10 foot hose. I'm sorry. I thought I said five. Okay, so you have two ends. One end has a little nipple. One is an innie. The innie is going to attach to your Mr. Heater, the one with the nipple to your propane. So it does come with this little gizmo here. And what this does is it just slides over, you line it up, and then when you thread it into your propane, remember threading in propane is backwards. So it's not righty tighty lefty loosey. You put it in this way and you are going to do it counterclockwise. Now that's about as tight as I can get it with my hand. But if you slide this little guy over, you'll get a good, seal there that's hand tight obviously this was closed when i plugged it in you take the other end of your hose open up the side barn door pull the little area out you're going to hand tighten and that's just a regular thread you're going to do it um, clockwise now i have it set up to where I'm ready to turn the propane on. Before we do that, we are gonna test that our connections are good. And how are we gonna do that? With Windex. So, we're gonna turn the propane on. All the way, I don't smell anything. I'm spraying both connectors. You're using Windex because it's not flammable. You don't wanna blow yourself up. I don't see any bubbles. So, next step is Let's clean it off a little bit, and we're gonna go back to the pilot. We're gonna put the pilot, push it down, let the propane come through this hose. I'm gonna get it about another 30 seconds. Okay, let's give it a shot. Back in the off position and push it down. Not enough yet. So I'm gonna hold it in that pilot position a few more seconds. All right, back in the off position, push it down, over. We got the pilot light lit. So it really does take at least 30 seconds to go through this tubing to get into your unit uh, to prime the pilot. So now we got the pilot lit. I'm gonna let off on that. The pilot stayed lit. I will put it on the low setting and that first ceramic tile will heat up. If I wanna put it on the medium, just more gas will go to that first tile. If I wanna put it on high 18,000 BTUs, um, both tiles will light up. Now. Let's shut this down the right way. First thing you wanna do, turn your fan off. Next thing you wanna do, turn this all the way. You have to push down and go all the way to off. You'll notice the pilot lights out. You'll notice the ceramic tiles are no longer heated. Then you wanna close down your 20 gallon propane. Then disconnect it. It doesn't matter if you disconnect it from here or here first, so let's do from the unit. You might smell a little bit of propane now. I just heard a pssst. And then we will disconnect it from the 20 pound tank. Remember, opposite way. Yeah, that you hear. Okay. And that's the hose and that's the propane tank. I'm gonna make sure this is go back in the garage tonight. All right, we're gonna quickly go over the other two models that I don't have here today. One is called the Portable Buddy, and the other one is called the Buddy Flex. Portable Buddy is very similar to the Big Buddy here, except it only has one propane uh, bay, bay that you can uh, put the one pound propane tanks in. It can still hook up to the 20 pound, but it will only have the one uh, hookup. It works very similar to this one, actually the exact same as this one. 
and it has two settings, 4,000 BTUs and 9,000 BTUs. So on one propane cylinder, the Portable Buddy will run for 5.4 hours at the low setting and at the high setting, 2.4 hours. Now the Big Buddy Flex is a monster. It's a 360 degree heating and I'll throw the picture up right now, but it doesn't have the front grate like this one does. That can heat up to about 275 square feet and it can run on one propane, one pound tank, or it can hook up to the 20 pound. Now at 6,000 BTUs, it'll run for three and a half hours. And at its highest setting, 11,000 BTUs, it'll run for two hours. The cool thing about the Buddy Flex is it does have a stove that you can attach to it if you want to cook. It's a lot like a camping stove. I'll put that picture up right now as well. So for the money, I still think that the Big Buddy is the way to go. It is the warmest heater and it also has the longest uh, fuel capacity as far as um, the efficiency of how it burns either the two pound propane or if you hook it up into the 20 pound propane. Now I'm gonna put a chart up on the screen now that shows all of the models that I've talked about today and you can see the efficiency of each one, the BTUs of each one, uh, how long they'll run at the low, medium, and high settings. And again, they all hook into the 20 pound propane tanks except for the little buddy. Okay, so what will you need that is not in the box when you buy your heater? The first thing obviously is your propane, either your one pound or your 20 pound. These one pound suckers, like I said, they go between about five to nine dollars, depending on where you get them from. If you see them for the five dollar mark, definitely buy them, pick them up, um, stock up on them, because that's a good price. 20 pound propane tanks have gone up exorbitantly in price over the last two years. When I bought this um, propane, 20 pound propane tank from Costco, I think I paid about $29 for it. Last time I saw them, they were pushing 60. Now, comparing the one pound to the 20 pounds, 20 pounds are gonna cost you a lot less in the long run to fill them and hook them up to your heater. It is pretty cheap to fill these still. I think I paid $3.99 at Tractor Supply to fill up a propane, it's $3.99 a gallon. I believe it took about six gallons. So about six gallons is roughly 20 pounds of propane. Another thing you're gonna need is obviously the um, carbon monoxide detector. I bought this at Lowe's, it was like 21 bucks. You can get a two pack, three pack. Good to have these around your house anyway, regardless if you're running a heater or a fireplace or a gas stove or whatever. Um, these things can save your life. The other thing, you wanna pick up the hose. Now these hoses, like I said, they come in five feet, 10 feet, and 12 foot. I got the 10 foot one. That's what Lowe's had when I bought it. No, the hose I paid $35 for at Lowe's and it is the Mr. Heater brand, go with that one. So that's pretty much it. Out of the box, you get the heating unit, you're gonna to need to get the propane, the hose, carbon monoxide filter, you're set to go. Okay, now let's talk about some off-label hacks. This is completely up to you if you want to do that. It is not recommended by the manufacturer, but I will show you the first one that is kind of fun. Okay, so here's the first hack. Easily remove the front uh, grill plate. Now, definitely not recommended because you are opening this up for someone to touch or burn. Like I said, these are off-label hacks. So, I then put this here. You take a C-clamp, remove the rubber from it so it's all metal, and attach it like so. Now, when you turn the heater on, and say this was a stainless steel cup of a beverage. You can just set it on the grill and you'll have a nice warm cup of whatever. When you do remove it, make sure this is cooled or you will burn your hand. Also, don't touch that. Shut it all down, let it sit for a while.
Okay, grill is back on, we're ready to go. Not really a hack, but second thing is there is an accessory bag for these heaters. I'll put a picture of it up on screen. And it costs $50, so if you are walking somewhere and you need to haul this thing because empty, that probably weighs 18, 20 pounds and has a nice handle. But with the bag, you can hold two one pound propane tanks and your heating unit. All right guys, if your unit isn't equipped with a fan to blow the heat out into the room, you can get a really cool device on Amazon and it is called a heat powered fan or a thermoelectric generator. Now I did some research into this exactly how it works and it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna read and nerd out for a second. Thermoelectric generator and it uses heat to produce power. This fan is a solid state device that converts heat flux or simply put temperature differences um, directly into electrical energy through a phenomenon called the Seebeck effect. So in 1821, some German guy, physicist named Thomas Seebeck discovered that when two wires made from dissimilar metals are joined at the ends to form a loop, and if the two junctions are maintained at different temperatures, a voltage develops in the circuit. So this fan will sit on top of your device and once the heat comes up, it'll power that fan with enough momentum to blow the heat out into the room. It's a really cool device and they're really good for these devices or even to put on the mantle of your fireplace at home to blow the heat out into the room. All right, preppers, thank you for sticking with me through this whole video and to the end. And like I said, I wanna tell you real quick why I bought these two models. This one, the little buddy, Perfect for portability, traveling, going camping. This thing weighs probably six, seven pounds. And these guys weigh, you know, two pounds full. Not that heavy to carry, not that bad to put in a uh, bag or your car if you're doing car camping. Um, super energy efficient, has no problem heating a single room in your house, a tent, a cabin, an RV with, uh, with, with very good efficiency. Uh, these things run a long time on the one pound propane. Second one I bought, was the uh, Big Buddy because of the dual propane uh, hookups on the side. Also, it is very energy efficient compared to the other models and it puts out 18,000 BTUs of heat. That is a lot of heat. This thing can heat your, well, it could probably heat my downstairs in my house. And my house is about 1,600 square feet. So the whole downstairs would be prob no problem with this. Also, if you hook this up to a 20 pound propane tank, on the lowest setting, it will last 100 hours. That's over three days of heat. So very energy efficient and very convenient. We had the cold snap just a few weeks ago for Christmas and lost power here. Didn't need to pull this out, but I did have the fireplace on. We only lost power for a few hours, but it was close to about eight, seven, six degrees outside. So if that was a long-term power outage, this sucker was definitely coming out. All right, preppers, that is it. Again, I'm gonna ask you to like this video, comment below if you got anything from there, hit that notification bell to stay informed. And if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys are all experts now in the Mr. Heater portable propane heating systems. Guys, refuse to be a victim. Dun 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 d